day before demolition and there is this really eerie quiet before the storm. It's kind of crazy. It's just me and the dog and I have about three hours before kids <laughs> start arriving. We've got Thanksgiving lunch at school and early release and one's going on an eighth grade trip and uh, life is a little crazy right now. Uh, in retrospect, I wish that I had done the flooring before we ever moved in, but at the time I didn't have the money for it and this is just how it goes. So we're doing all of it, all of it at one time. And it's gonna be a little bit chaotic for a few days. It's exciting though. There's so many cool things going on and I know that it's gonna be loud and there's gonna be a ton of banging and it's gonna be crazy and chaotic. And then in the end, we're gonna have this amazing home. I hope we'll feel like our home and it's gonna be something that we've invested our money into. Um, definitely have worked very hard to be able to afford this kind of renovation. It's not something that I think that we ever imagined that we'd be able to do, so it's amazing. Out in the garage right now, we have the range, we have the hood, we have um, the dishwasher, the handles that are for the cabinets. There's been a hold up at the warehouse. They were out of the ones that I wanted. And instead, they finally sent them out yesterday so I can see a sample of the two that I've been debating between. And it's just madness trying to get this much stuff done at once. So not only are we installing wood flooring throughout the entire first floor, but we're gutting the entire kitchen. I want to show you some of the stuff that we've been working on and give you a brief little walkthrough. You guys, if you followed along at all on our Instagram, you've already been getting peeks of these windows going in. That was insane. Um, I definitely want to show you all the different steps and invite you along in this chaos because in the end, it's going to be amazing and I know that it's going to be an amazing it's gonna, be, it's just gonna be such a cool place to live. And um, I think it's gonna be a place that we feel at home in, we feel at ease in, we feel comfortable in, but we also feel energized and excited and it will inspire us to live the kind of life that we wanna live. And I think that, that those are the key ingredients of having a home. Yeah, but I am tired. I'm tired. I went to bed. I think it was two, I was up at 5.45 and it's been like that for a while. So trying to do all of this while working full time. I mean, honestly, real estate is not a full time job. It's, it's just an every hour job. You're just always working. And I love what I do, so I don't mind working. It's just trying to squeeze in my own projects. It's a little bit of a stretch. Um, so I just don't really sleep much because that's really the only thing I have left. Because apparently you don't have more hours in a day and there's only so much you can, I mean, you can always pay somebody, I guess, to do more. <laughs> I could pay somebody to have emptied my house, but I didn't. I, I guess I do a lot of my things hands-on. I like to do as much myself, and I'm already starting to daydream about how this whole place is gonna come back together, and I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty epic. All right, let me take you on a little tour and show you where we are right now, and what's empty, and where this thing is going. Our sunroom, where Louie is currently trying to escape all the chaos in his little Christmas PJs, uh, we've already painted this white. It was gray before and my kids have been begging for a white room and I've been wanting to play with white again from Scandinavia. That white carpet has got to go. It's actually very dirty and just kind of gross. It's probably the best carpet in the house though. At least it was a low pile, but yeah, it's gotta go. Um, then over here, Okay, breakfast room. This entire room is getting gutted, the entire thing. We decided to leave the big wall between the living room and the kitchen because it's an extremely structural wall. To have taken it down would have been so complicated and we just decided not to do it. Not only that, but we already have a family room connected to the kitchen, so we didn't really feel like it was totally 100% necessary. As you can see, I've got drawers open because I'm actually emptying things right now. Otherwise, the drawers are all empty, cabinets are empty, these have uh, served their purpose. Oh, you can see there's just a mess everywhere, mess everywhere. Uh, but this is, 
you know, from a distance, and I think on camera, you can't tell how broken and dingy these are. Normally, I will paint cabinets because the, the way we're putting this thing back together, it's actually going to be the same floor print, like floor print, footprint, the same footprint, but everything's going to be drawers. So it is going to be a little bit different, um, but it's generally going to be the same. And I normally wouldn't do that, except that these cabinets are laminate and some of my neighbors have tried to paint them and they don't paint that great. And especially when the interiors are torn up this bad. So that's gotta go. And the appliances are ancient. They don't actually work. So they, they, they turn on and they heat, but they don't hold their heat properly. They're dated. Uh, I actually don't mind the fact that they're black because I'm gonna have black cabinets in here, but the double oven is gonna be shifted over to over here and it's actually going to be a wider range which will serve as a double oven so still have a double oven it's just going to be a nice big fat beautiful range with the hood over it oh my god it's going to be so beautiful and then this is going to be blown out and then we're going to have drawers down below for all the storage and then i've got beautiful shelving coming up here oh my god i'm so i'm so excited i've got vip my favorite danish design company, uh, VIPP, <laughs> VIP, and they've got, I've got shelves, and there's already a little peek of their cup. You can see that I was already making myself a coffee this morning, and I didn't clean up because I don't even know where to start. When the house is this messy, it's just like, what do you do, what do you do? As you can see in here, my studio is the last bit to get packed up. We are finishing up our 25 days of Christmas and you can see my kids were rummaging through my drawer this morning. Uh, I think my eighth grader was looking for cash for his trip to South Georgia. Uh, but we've got like random plants and then like Christmas going on, but this is just part of it. It's it's a little nuts when you're doing this kind of thing and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with chaos. It doesn't bother me. That carpet is going to go. My shoes. It looks like the dog found them and drug them in here. <laughs> um, and then this chandelier has been a massive point of debate in our house whether to keep this or not. I really wanted something linear in here and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for it because look how tall these ceilings are. Look at this. Oh, you can't even like see. Okay, let me go way back. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're that tall. They're that tall. And so I thought something linear and more modern would be amazing. This room is where you're really going to feel the impact. There's an echo, echo, echo in here right now. But pretty soon there's going to be amazing hardwood floors down below my feet. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. It's going to be so beautiful. And while I've been massively debating whether to paint these walls white, so far the votes were unanimous. When I polled you guys on Instagram, everybody thought the gray walls should stay. Every single person said the gray walls should stay, unless maybe we were doing something totally different, which could be possible. We might actually do something really, really different. We don't normally have weird, random things sitting in the foyer, but that's what it is right now. Uh, stairs are, carpet's going. Carpet's got to go. You guys can already see that I have painted this. This was not this pretty before. It was wood, and yes, I painted wood. So y'all just go ahead and write hate mail in, but it's gonna be awesome. Um, but I painted this entire wall dark gray. We're gonna rip off this carpet. Let's finish this project. It's been halfway for like a year. Carpet's going, new carpet's going in, and they're going to stain the wood to match the floors. We are not putting wood across there because first of all, there wasn't actual wood underneath there that we could stain. And my husband is notorious for slipping and falling down stairs. He fell so many times in our five-story townhome in Copenhagen because there wasn't carpeting on the stairs up to his room and he kept falling. So. Uh, I just feel like maybe this is a better idea to not have my husband with a broken leg and me having to take care of him. Um, 
Also, this is the Notorious Pink Marble. This was in the bathroom, it was on the fireplace, and we have systematically been taking all of it out because while it could have been cool at one time and been completely amazing in some French little uh, some French little cafe or some apartment in Lisbon. Sorry, the lawn care apparently has arrived for the neighbors. My bedroom is a little bit dingy feeling. It definitely needed a coat of paint before and I really loved this amazing charcoal gray color. But I'm debating whether I want to go a little bit lighter in here. I really haven't decided. It's amazing to have a frame here. And um, I like having the vanity here. It's really nice to have a place to get ready in the morning, but I don't know if this will come back or not, or if we're just going to completely flip this room and do something totally different just to. And in case you were wondering, yes, this is what my bed looks like in the middle of chaotic house renovation. Nothing's fixed, nothing's in its place, and I start to feel really anxious because it's just like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like, I don't know where anything is. And I'm one of those people, I know where everything is. The kids will ask, where is this? And I'm like, it's on the top. It's on the top drawer, on the left, in the back one third of the drawer. Like, I know where things are. I'm very specific about things being exactly where they should be. So yeah, this is a little bit chaotic, but at the same time, I I love it because it's like we just throw it all up in the air and we get to decide where it's all gonna fall when it comes back down. I think that is so much fun. I think that's why so many of us love renovation so much because it's fun and it's it transforms your space, but it also transforms you. I You become a different person when you're living in a different kind of space and I'm excited to find out what kind of person I'm going to be when I've got wood underneath my feet in my bedroom. That's gonna be awesome. So white carpet in the bedroom, ooh, got to go. And um, we've got some more to do in here because it, it is, it's dingy. I don't know, I don't know, I haven't decided. And then we're redoing the closet, so I've gotta empty out the closet today and get all this done. So I'm gonna run, get to work. I've got tons to do before these guys arrive and I'm waiting for that dumpster to get here. So I will see you guys soon. I cannot wait to share everything in between and that after. I'm living for it, I'm living for it. It's gonna be here, it's gonna be awesome.